Libra, what is this picture clarity you're seeing? It's my camera. I want to say thank you to everybody who has donated to my PayPal because I went and bought myself a new card. Memory card? Memory card. And so now I can use my camera. Thank you all so much. I'm very grateful. I'm going to do a reading for you. This is a bonus reading. I am going to have to remember not to look at the screen and look here, 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 here. So, um, yes, thank you all so much. You made my day. I feel like I'm put together again and I can read for you guys like a superstar, like an absolute superstar. All right, so we're going to um, have a look at your bonus reading. It's general um, for Libra. It's general and, uh, again, it's for the collective. So it may not resonate for everybody. So just take from it what does and leave the rest for who it belongs to, my friends. All right, we're going to use the um, Keepers of the Light, Ascended Masters cards to get started. Very excited. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am Jackie B. I'm a rascal. I am a light worker, an intuitive, and a manifesting mentor. I am a Pleiadian starseed, and I am very excited to be here and to see you. Please feel free to join the family by subscribing, liking, commenting, donating to this channel so that I can resource it. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Let's get started. Angels, guides, and spirits, guide me. Angels, guides, and spirits, guide me, please, for Libra. Angels, guides, and spirits, guide me for Libra, please. Ascended Masters, Ancestors and Light Beings, I ask that you bless this reading for Libra's highest good and the good of the collective, and so it is. All right, let's see what we've got. Al Moya, Awakening Presence. Kalima, Facing Fear. Commander Ashtar, all the big guns are out for you today. All right, so Al Moya. Now, how do we do this? Al Moya, I've got to be in it, I think. Al Moya. Awakening Presence, the camera quality, right? The, if you've been watching my videos for the past little while, you'll know that this is like heaven. And I'm probably the sound is probably amazing too. Um, so the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. You guys are going through some things that are a little bit crazy, a little bit scary, a little bit crazy. You have to have balls. Ladies have them, lady balls. Um, you have to have this sense of bravado and maybe also be just a little bit crazy to walk into some of the things that we're experiencing at the moment. So the universe is with you. We're a cloak of protection and love. Know that you are protected. Okay. And know that you are loved. At the moment, the energies are spicy. They are super spicy. And uh, we're getting burnt. <laughs> We're getting burned. I don't know about you guys, but I spent the weekend trying to get out of my head because it was not fun in there at all. It was chaos. And it was like all my anxieties, uh, one after the other, coming. I'd, I'd, rest, I'd put one to rest and then another one would jump up and spring into action and chase me around the house. So I totally understand. I, and I, I want to say this, it's the quickening. So as the universe, or sorry, as the um, globally we raise, the frequencies rise, so too does the density start going into a little frenzy as it falls away. So what we do is we trust what we know, know that we are protected, know we are loved. And when you're in it and you're feeling like it's going on just a bit too much, you say, I know I'm protected. I know I am loved. I know I am protected. I know I am loved. And another one that I say too is you are safe, Jackie. You are safe. I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. Let's have a look in the, at the clarifiers with the uh, Sears deck. The light Sears deck. What's the clarifiers for our Moya Awakening Presence? All uprights, please, spirit. So we've got the chariot moving. Moving on. Nope, 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 not seeing that. Nope. Uh, we are moving and grooving. The chariot is moving with intention and determination. We are going. Look at this. Luck of the draw. This is good fortune with the wheel of fortune. And then we've got the seven of pentacles. So you've got an idea. There is something that you want. Uh, it could be a shift in your reality, it could be a relationship, it could be love, it could be money, it could be some kind of idea, some kind of thought, some kind of shift, some kind of creation 
that's going on for you right now. That's what you're thinking about doing. You got this, and it, there is time to move on it again. You are protected. You are loved. Okay, the universe is with you, is what it's saying. So it is time to make moves, make some mad moves on what you're planning on doing. I can see, I'm feeling very much like this is purpose, career, creativity type of situation. I see you, uh, and oh, I want to say this if you've been thinking about um, building something, growing something, nurturing something, creating something from the ground up, and it's going to take some nurturing, oh, thumbs up from the universe. Good luck is on your side. Good luck is on your side. And then there's this bit. So really, they are kicking your butt, Libra. They are saying, what, now is the time. So you know how I was talking about we're all in our heads and there's a fr it's because there's a quickening. So just as there is loads of stuff coming up that's burning our butts, there, there too is loads of stuff that we have access to and that potentials, limitless potentials that have come up. So are we in the 3D or are we, are we in the 5D? Are we in the third dimension or the fifth dimension? Are we, which one are we anchored in? Because depending on which one we're anchored on determines on how we perceive this specific time, this particular time. Do we perceive this particular time to be a time where we need to hunker down and hide? Some of us, that is actually part of the creative process is kind of, making distance and creating distance so that we can we can go ahead and do these things that we want to do and really focus on those things that we want to do but is this a time to shy away from our soul's calling from our from our purpose from the thing that is called to us no so we've got Kalima facing fear oh I love this card I love this card. I make candles, clean my candles. I don't have any at the moment, but check out my store, www.blessedbybee.com. Um, so many candles that I make myself by hand. Okay, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Major spiritual un changes are unfolding. Spiritual changes are unfolding. The veil is coming down. I mean, have, have you, has there been, I'm going to try and talk in a minute. Have you had moments and days, I'll tell you what, this morning, driving my little girl to school, dropped off at school, and driving back, um, what, listen to Harvest Moon. Listen to the song Harvest Moon. I feel like that's interdimensional. I feel like it, it encased me in this, um, completely different reality where I transcended this reality and I felt out of body or at least I felt like I was in a different reality um, I feel like because the veil is so thin and because we have access to higher dimensions and everything is shifting as we actually are sometimes having experiences in different timelines so we're jumping around a lot which is called quantum leaping I think and we're kind of jumping and sometimes our reality looks a little bit unfamiliar or it looks familiar but it feels strange and that was what was going on today so the cha uh, spiritual changes are unfolding and these are for the better these experiences are being enhanced because we are rising our consciousness is rising globally which is so exciting and so this is a chance to soar let's clarify that this is a kind gentle loving kick in the pants this reading it's a kind kick in the pants from the spirit for your great success. Oh, four came out then. All right, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, my friends. Queen of Swords. Uh, very determined, very clear, very decisive, very intentional. Does not let anything get in her way. Very logical. Why does that look like Kim Kardashian is what I want to know. Why does that look like Kim Kardashian? Hmm, interesting. So anyway, moving on from that. Um, very decisive, very intentional, very laser focused. No one is getting in my way. Hello to me. Hello to you. Hello to us. Um, look, hard work paying off. 
hard work paying off with the eight of pentacles, knuckling down, getting it done, doing all the moving bits, you know, there's parts of um, a creation or a business or a project or a calling or a activity that we just love doing and then there's other moving parts that need to be doing in order for it to be streamlined and for all the pieces and the cogs to be turning and we are we got our hands on everything we're doing it all the stuff we don't like the stuff we do like we're getting it all done it is all part of a creation and it all must have its ha have have our hands on all of it we are doing all the things even if this, if it's the stuff we don't like we are jumping in we are jumping in, my friends. We are trusting that the universe will catch us. Uninhibited adventure. Uninhibited adventure is what it is. Uninhibited adventure. With the Ten of Wands. Ooh, you want to know something else? Ten of Wands is about burdens, my friend. And guess what? We're doing it anyway. There is a lot going on. There is a lot going on. And no one will blame you for thinking, I might just sit this one out, Jax. I might just sit this one out. It doesn't feel like it's time yet. And I'm like, mm, actually, it's time for us to stop. For, look, not everybody. you 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 got to do what you got to do. But this is a perspective. We can sit in our burdens or in our, you know, and some people can't. Some people really need to focus on that thing at the moment, which is fine. But I feel a breakthrough. It was after, it was these solar flares. It was after the eclipse. It was just like all this new energy, the full moon and tour. Like just, it's the portals that are coming out. I'm saying that there are burdens and there are challenges. But look at this card. You're coming down the other side. You're coming down the other side. And you've got support, Right? Support is carrying the biggest load for you, which is your spirit team. It is okay to not be ready. <laughs> it is okay to not have all the answers and not quite know how this is all going to work out or how you're going to do all the things that you need to do to make this work. It is okay. It is okay for there to be some things going on around you that you're not in control of that take a little bit of energy to navigate whilst chasing your dreams. This did come out in the reverse, okay, which would often talk about the other side of being on the other side of, of, of burdens. I feel like you are pursuing this new project or you really knuckling down into what it is that you want to do um, is what assists in um, releasing unstucking you <laughs> we all know that's not a word unstucking unsticking helping you become unstuck okay so I feel as if though that there are burdens I, I, I can I can speak to that there is a lot going on and I got to choose am I going to sit here again and allow it to stop me from moving or am I going to choose me Choose my purpose, choose my calling, choose my babies, choose my happiness, choose your happiness, choose your happiness, my friend, choose your happiness. It isn't going to be easy, but oh, it's going to be so rewarding. So it's about going for it, right? Being very intentional about what you want, being very laser focused and not letting anyone get in the way of that. Commander Ashtar, you little hottie. <laughs> He's a little hotty. <laughs> Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. I feel as if by stepping into this, the light of this project or this journey that has been calling you, I feel like stepping into it transcends your issues, your problems. I feel like it pulls you all the way out of that energy and all of a sudden the things that really bugged you and the things that really weighed you down start dissipating. Because what you're doing is you're pulling yourself out of density and you're able then to be able to have a higher perspective over what's, you can just kind of look down, bird's eye view and be like, whoa, I can't believe I was part of that. 
Now I can navigate my little human through that from a higher perspective. So you don't got to be in the dramas. You don't got to be in the, you know, you don't got to be pull, put, push and pause every time things get hard. Because we have access to some really high energy outcomes right now. Some huge potentials right now. Um, so call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. What are you talking about? Ugh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't speak. This is a um, mastery. This is a promotion. This is higher education. This is uh, somebody who is incredibly masterful and knowledgeable. It's somebody who has done it all and is now in a position where they can teach, um, they lead a team, they uh, run a business. They just have a certain level of expertise because they've experienced all. This is a, and, and this is leadership. You know, like the King of Swords is fair and very well, commu very well communicative. I don't know where all these words are coming from right now, but I feel like you know what I'm talking about. So, King of Swords, get up there. Get up there and get that thing done. If you need to do a course or get a promotion or ask for a promotion or start your own business or do a little side hustle where you're leading a group of people through things, doing things. And the, the, the King of Swords is there to say you have all that you need in order to do this. So uh, if you want to go and do a course, you have all the prerequisites. You are able to do it. You want, you want the promotion? You have the expertise. You want to lead a team? You have the mastery. You have the expertise. You have the skills required. So, King of Swords clarified by Holy. Nine of Cups. That thing, that particular thing that you've been manifesting happening. The Nine of Cups is a particular manifestation coming to fruition. And let me tell you. We've got the Ace of Cups. Profound love. Cup overfloweth. Wide expansion. Emotional delight. Senses running wild. Completely satisfied, content and overjoyed. You are going to, it's going to knock your socks off. This is going to knock your socks off. Walk the talk, because I know that some of you, I mean, uh, you could be sitting on the side of the camera having this quarter or two, you know. You're very clever. You've been through a lot, and you've mastered a lot, and you've learned a lot. And don't compare yourself to anybody else. What you have, people are looking for. What you have right now, in this moment, people are looking for. What are the last cards? What are the last cards for Leibs? Leibs, beautiful Leibs. I'm so excited for you. Are you freaking out how cool these cards are? Are you freaking out at how cool these cards are? Well, I am. Last messages for Libra, please, Spirit, for this bonus reading because they just rock. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. Three of Cups, right? Celebration. The coming together of. All right. Look at this. The Five of Cups. Look at the Three of Cups toppled over. Look at that. So let's say, let's say that there was something going on and it didn't work out the way you wanted it to and you're sort of feeling a little bit, hmm. No, 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 no. We don't give up. We don't give up. We understand that on the other side of adversity is the next best leveled up self. We understand that everything that happens to us is another level of mastery that assists us in navigating big stuff. If we want access and if we truly want to accomplish some of the things that we feel called to accomplish, we're going to need to feel some stuff. 
we're going to need to experience some stuff. We're going to need to master the art of navigating some big stuff. Because we big time. It's exciting. We have purpose and we want to make sure that we are doing uh, justice to that purpose. Our divine purpose. I'm incredibly excited for you. Incredibly excited. So if you feel like uh, you were celebrated and then all turned to poo-poo or, or you felt like you were close and then there was a snag or what, like, this is not the time. You are protected and loved. The universe is with you. You are protected and loved. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Will you step up or will you let it go? Call to action. Take charge with the king of swords. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Call to action, facing fear and awakening to presence, knowing that you're not on your own and that there are a fleet, an army, an army of higher beings, light beings, ancestors, angels, God, all working with you to bring this about because they are all focused on liberating this insanely stunning, miraculous planet. And you're part of it. I love you, Libra. Check out the description box. I do private readings. You can get a little bit of cray-cray in your day-day in person. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating and supporting my channel. It helped me buy a new memory card today so I can use this camera. It all goes in and it all comes out for you guys. And I'm just so grateful to have you here. So I'm going to toodle off. My daughter's going to be home soon and I want to make your dinner and all that kind of yummy stuff. So I will see you soon. Love you, Libra. Love you so much. See you soon.